The Story of Bessie Coleman, Shortened and Simplified Hello there, Timothy here. And for Black History Month, I will be doing a special story. A story about the first black person to ever fly an airplane in the United States. The first African-American woman to receive a pilot's license. And this woman, and her name, is Bessie Coleman. And just like every story, this story starts from the moment she is born in 1892 in Atlanta, Texas. Bessie Coleman was born during a time after the abolition of slavery, but much before the civil rights movement in the southern United States. She would help her parents with laundry and working the cotton fields, where they would get most of their money, which they are often cheated out of getting. But, lucky for her, her father was wise enough to avoid the sharecropping deal, which would legally, which would legally bound workers to their land. At the age of 23, Bessie moves to Chicago, Illinois, with her brother. And in Chicago, she becomes a manicurist at the White Sox Barbershop. And it was there she heard stories of courageous pilots during World War I. And that's when she thought of becoming a pilot. But but no schools in the states would teach her how to fly because of the simple reason she was black and so that didn't stop her and she went to france but she went on a special ship in fact it was the largest ship of the time the ss imperator and now the moment that she's been waiting for she gets in a Newport 564, which is now a trainer aircraft, and she finally takes off. Later on, she earns her pilot's license, and newspapers throughout France and the world tell of her achievement. And, and later uh, on, she performed in the first airship. black person, person to fly a plane. Spectators, both white and colored, came to see her fly. For Eventually, she became a stunt pilot and flew in other air shows. But on some occasions, she would not fly if black men and other people of color were not allowed to go through the front gate. She had a lovely career as an aviator, but the worst was yet to come. April 30th, 1926. An airplane takes off in Jacksonville, Florida, carrying Bessie Coleman and piloted by William Walls. But the plane, however, was an outdated, poorly maintained piece of garbage. Bessie Coleman didn't put on her seatbelt because she needed because she needed to look for a suitable area to perform her skydive. But during the flight, the airplane unexpectedly takes a nosedive and a spin, th- immediately throwing Bessie from the cockpit falling to her death. But William Walls wasn't able to regain control of the airplane and it crashed, killing him instantly. Since her death, many places were named in Bessie's honor, including an airport drive, school, park, and more. And that was the shortened story of Bessie Coleman. Huh? What the? What is this place? Ah, hello there. Hey, what the? Talking lion? Ah, uh, yeah, my name's Timothy, and welcome to Toon World. What in the world is that? 
It's an alternate universe. So, how did I get here? So I told I told your story, and oh, I get it. You tell my story, and then I get resurrected into this alternate universe. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm gonna go explore. For more Roblox, Minecraft, Toontastic videos, and more awesome content, subscribe to the channel. You won't regret it. And also, click the notification bell to get notified every time we make a new video. You won't regret it. Even though you already said that, Timothy. Sorry. It's fine. Have you heard of Toontastic before? If you haven't, Go to the Apple App Store. With Toontastic, you can create awesome cartoons with with characters that are already pre-existing or if you if you want to, you can draw your own. Setting supply as well. Well, that's all for now. See you in the next movie.